guys, this is Raymond Z. And AK-4707. And we're back, and we're checking out the WWE Ghostbusters um, wrestling figures. These are six-inch figures, and they're, they're all articulated like uh, an elite uh, WWE figure would be. And they pay in homage to the Ghostbusters. So, really cool. They all, they all have great paint jobs of boxes. We'll see we've got another full set right behind. So the boxes just look outstanding. Now this is kind of an older figure. Um, at least, what, a few months, you know. Uh, we've had this in the garage for quite a while. We've had a couple sets of these, and we've mailed them to our buddy Jeff Stubbs in Australia. And uh, so we uh, right now we're just checking out the set. Uh, that Avery got out of it, and then the other one will go to Australia as well. So, let's start. Avery, which one is your favorite figure? Absolutely the Undertaker. All right, well, let's check out the Undertaker. I'm going to come over here and tell me about him. What do you like the best about him? I like, mm, it's hard to pick a best, pe best feature, but I really like that belt. You can check that out. Yeah, that belt is cool. It's like slimed. It's a... Uh, like Slimer Green, you know? Yeah. That's pretty cool. <laughs> what else? You take the hat off. Like his hat. He says, Avery said the hat doesn't fit too well on him. It doesn't. It doesn't, doesn't it, stay. It, it's really loose. Or, um, it's really like, it doesn't go down all the way. Because I put it down and it just pops up. Oh, uh, okay. But. But the figure itself? The figure itself is great. I like how um, they didn't just... Like, they didn't just remake the figure and make it purple. Like, just color it purple instead of coloring the clothes. They actually made it, like, fairly translucent. Which, I, I love that. Yeah, it's, let me see. It's hard to tell from it the is, camera. Well, it is, but we can get in close uh, in there. Oh, there he is. Kind of a ghostly, ghoulish face. Right. With the white eyes is a nice touch. And he is kind of translucent. I like that they didn't just, like, take one figure and just paint over it with a bunch of purple. You know, Which, <laughs> but, by yeah. the way, there are some figures that have done that. Yeah. Not maybe not with wrestling, but like with other toy companies, they just print. They just make another one of the same figure and just paint it. Yeah, well, saving <laughs> saving cost. You know, the more they can save, then the more they can supposedly pass on to the customer. But I think it's more their bottom line and their yachts. But you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, so here is. This Stone Cold Steve Austin is probably close to one of my favorite ones. I can't decide if I like him better or if I like John Cena over there. But he comes with the actual, um, uh, his vest, you know, his biker vest. You could take off him, jacket. And that's really, really cool. So this stuff comes off these guys. Obviously not The Undertaker because The Undertaker... Which, who disappeared because he's a ghost. He ran away from the set. <laughs> uh, now Avery's playing with him, but that's okay. I'm, I'm messing with him. I'm just looking at him. But uh, this Undertaker here, no, sorry. This is Stone Cold. This is the same one we sent to uh, Mike Cass uh, for one of his appreciation thing. We sent him, sent him some stuff to his P.O. box. and But see, all this stuff will come off. There you go. This is Austin Wild, or no, 316. Looks like Wild. Well, but look at that. This is Austin little vest on there, little patch for his name, and then the all the Ghostbuster stuff. Look at that, the gun and the backpack and all that. Super, super detailed. These are just great, great figures. These were Walmart exclusives, and as much as I complain about exclusives, I sure do have a lot of them. <laughs> but it's because you get to hunting, you go out there and you start hunting for stuff. See so if you can get him to stand up, maybe lean him on his box, whatever. Either way. But the other one I was talking about was John Cena, who's over here. He'll be the last one we look at. But we'll check out The Rock now. The Rock looks like he wants to fall over, anyways. So. <laughs> yeah, that's why I put him all the way over there. Yeah, you know, he's got kind of the torn sleeve thing going, like Lenny and Squiggy. If anybody remembers old Laverne and Shirley, but he's got a gun. And he's got his name on his on his jumpsuit. His jumpsuit can also come off. Yeah, yeah, and it says Sarsaparilla or something underneath it. Oh, it says The Rock. T 
team. It says team. Team bring it. Team bring it. Uh, okay. I agree. Yeah, we'll keep that covered up. That's a thing. <laughs> there must be one of his things I didn't know about. But I'm not really that into wrestling. I just like collecting the figures and the lady figures so that they can date my stormtroopers. <laughs> Here, stand him up back somewhere. Wherever. Uh, let's see. The next one. Now, the next one is Shawn Michaels. And that name sounds familiar, but I couldn't for the life of me tell you who he is. But he comes with a trap, one of the ghost traps. This is awesome. Just awesome. And it's even got a foot pedal on it. I don't know if that's going to come out very well. But that is just, just too cool. And he's got, his shirt's more like a poncho. So it's got a little band on it. I didn't take the band off because, I don't know, I didn't feel like it. <laughs> uh, but his hat, got the Ghostbuster symbol. That's nice. That's a Come nice on, one. zoom in. Focus, 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 focus. And I bet it comes off. Sure does. Because it's see? a hat in wrestling, of course it comes off. Because <laughs> there's a the logic there. Now put it on crazy. It looks crazy. Hang on. Put it on back. <sighs> So, and he's got bracelets that say DX. He's all about that. He's got a little tattoo there. An apple with a snake and a dagger. There's his name tag. Whoop, there it is, Michaels. It's a good looking figure. He's got stripes down the side of his pants and steel toed boots. So, I mean, he looks good. You don't have to know who he is, right? <laughs> Go ahead, line him up, put him somewhere, and I'll put that trap over there, too. All right, so, and the last one we got, last but not least, with John Cena. Look at that. He's got the arm with the sweatbands. They've got Ghostbusters on them. He's got a patch on his shirt. <laughs> He's got the dog tags he comes with. What else? He's got a signature short, uh, shorts and... Hiking boots or whatever. It's a good looking figure. I would have thought this one would be the one that came with a baseball cap because he always wears a baseball cap. Yeah, he does. But it didn't. So. When I first saw him, I thought that was Cena until I saw the ponytail. Yep. So. We've got the Ghostbusters right there, and then there's a ghost. <laughs> to look like he's in a flying. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. <laughs> well, so what do y'all think about these guys? Y'all need to uh, leave some comments down below and let us know what you think. Tell us about uh, figures you'd like to see us do uh, reviews on if we have them. And I bet we have them because we have a whole lot of toys. Um, I think my favorite, yeah, I think John Cena's my favorite. What about you, Avery? Definitely the Undertaker. The Undertaker. We'll put it back in the shot so we can have I'm another trying. shot. I'm trying to get in the. Look cool. Okay. Whatever. I couldn't get the thing in his hand. But. That's alright. You could get his belt. That's okay. Yeah, I was trying to get the belt back into his hand. <laughs> That's alright. I like this guy. I think that the John Cena is probably my favorite one out of these. Uh, my oldest son has uh, started giving me John Cena toys <laughs> just for no reason. <laughs> and it's kind of funny. What the heck? Hey God, he stack, slid backwards. Stack all them up. He slid sideways. Yeah. We'll have a we'll have Stone Cold with his hat. Why not, right? If so, I had to rank them, it would be um, yeah, rank them. It would be number one, Undertaker. Number two, Stone Cold. Number three, Rock. Number four, John. Number five, Mike. Really? See, my, my ranking would be different. I don't really like the the Undertaker. I'm not into the whole translucent ghost thing. I mean, it's cool, but my favorite would be John, would be number one, and then Stone Cold. So we got John, Stone Cold, and then Shawn Michaels, just because of all the color on the side of his pants and everything, that, that yes. zigzag pattern. They did do a good job with that. Yeah. Then The Rock, and then... The Undertaker. That's kind of how I see it. 
That's how I like it. So, yep. But these were these were super fun. We went and tracked these down over like seven different WalMarts to make sure we got all of them because we needed to send a bunch to uh to our buddy Jeff in Australia, New South Wales, Aussie Sci-Fi Collectibles. Unfortunately, he's gone out of business, but he's still a friend of ours. So that's what matters, right? Yeah. Yeah, our business venture is over, but we made a lifelong friend, so I think that's cool. Hey, I got it to work. Hey, there you go. You got the belt on. <laughs> I was trying to get it in his hand, but that didn't work, so right on. this is what we got. That's cool. I still think this is one of the coolest things. Yeah, that's cool. Buying the Shawn Michaels just to get this, I mean, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So, all right, cool. Well... Uh, leave us a, a like down below, a comment, tell us what you think about this, tell us if you like it or not, and uh, would you try to pick them up, would you try to hunt them down on eBay, because they're not in Walmart anymore, um, tell us what you think, and we have a toy giveaway, so help us get to 200, and you might be picked to get some free toys, who doesn't like free, right, that's the best <laughs> price, <laughs> alright, All right, cool, well, this has been a Rat Sandwich production. Out.